Across the other side of the country, in Bristol, our problem is moving people, especially people in a hurry. Bristol, seaport, university town, industrial centre, whatever you care to call it, it's crowded and full of people on the move. People who have to queue for the bus and don't like it. People who are irritated by the experiences that make every town dweller, sometime or other, want to live in the country. so far as this. Dear sir, I really must draw your attention to the disgraceful bus service on the number 22 route. Last Tuesday evening, I had to wait at least 20 minutes for a 22 bus at Temple Meads, etc., etc. Right. Garrett, I want you to investigate this complaint. Right, sir. Heath, I want you to do a four-hour check at Old Market. We need yes, to analyze the loading there before we work out our winter schedule. Yes, sir. Brown and Pope, yes, sir. I want you to check the loading at Victoria Rooms and then out to the aircraft works at five o'clock. Very good, sir. In Bristol, the bus traffic office will not admit defeat by the inevitable congestion of a city that's grown too crowded. To improve matters, it's essential to find out the actual performance of the services from hour to hour. The bus observers are the fact finders of the system, expert in detecting and recording the facts that reveal the weak places in the service. It's largely their work that enables us to deal with this kind of criticism from the public and adjust the service to the best advantage. For the public must be served at slack times as well as at busy ones, and it's not always easy to do both. Even then, the delays and hold-ups of city traffic can make a good-looking schedule look like no schedule at all. But when the pile-ups and the gaps have been checked and located, then something can be done about them. Big factories, the aircraft and tobacco and chocolate works that surround Bristol all have to be served, with their thousands of people knocking off at the same time, wanting to get to all parts of the city. Elaborate arrangements are made with the works committees to get them away quickly. People with an allotment to dig, or a game of darts to play, or maybe just a home to go to. It looks like chaos sometimes, but in fact, careful analysis has made the scheme work pretty smoothly smoothly enough to move 6,000 people from one factory in 20 minutes. But in bus work, nothing ever pans out quite as it ought to. So there's always a relief crew to deal with the unexpected snag. They have the consolation of sitting in the canteen with the off-duty men. But they never know where they're going or when the bus will be needed. So it's very heavy on the three, sir. Can we have a relief? Smith, driver Smith, conductor Gregory, get the bus ready for Whitchurch, will you? Cities grow, but not the thoroughfares that serve. Watchfulness and care can do much to ease the flow of traffic and meet the needs of those who depend on public transport. 